Hey everybody, Dr. Wessel Couch here with another math and Minecraft episode. Today, we're gonna do some applied math. That's right, we're going to approximate the acceleration due to gravity in Minecraft. All right, let's get started. Before we get started with the experiment, let me show you how the mechanics work. While I'm standing on this block, this hopper is locked. See, no items are going in the chest. But if I leave the block, the hopper unlocks and items flow freely into the chest. And then when I get back on the block, the hopper is locked again. This is gonna be our timing mechanism. To free fall, I'm going to use the slash TP command so I could have a controlled fall. And so here I fell from 20 blocks and we could go to the timer to see how long it took to fall. So here I fell three warped fungus amount of time. The first model we'll use to approximate G is distance equals one half G T squared. This assumes that there is no air resistance. We'll see that this might not be the best model. We just need one data point. So I'm gonna free fall from 100 blocks to compute the amount of time. And so the amount of time it took to fall is going to be the number of warped fungus. Eventually we'll switch to seconds. So here our fall was seven warped fungus and we traveled 100 blocks. Using this, we have 100 blocks equals one half G times seven warped fungus squared. Solving for G, we have G is approximately 4.08 blocks per warped fungus squared. To test this model, we will now fall from 1,000 blocks. Our model says that 1,000 equals one half times 4.08 T squared. Solving for T, we should expect T to be approximately 22 warped fungus. Let's see if that's what we get. So I'm going to teleport myself 1,000 blocks up in the air, and I'm free falling. So when we finally land, we see our time is 37 warped fungus, much more than the predicted 22 warped fungus. I think it's fair to say that the model distance equals one half GT squared is not the right model to approximate the acceleration due to gravity in Minecraft. There must be some air resistance. And that shouldn't surprise us Minecraft has birds that fly, bees that fly, elytras that fly, and there's sound, so there's probably air. The model for free falling distance with air resistance is D equals VT plus V squared over G times E to the negative G over VT minus V squared over G, where V is the terminal velocity and g is the acceleration due to gravity. This is a crazy equation. If you wanna see why this is the distance equation, head over to my friend Dennis's channel, The Physics Math Wizard, to watch him explain why. While you're there, tell him Dr. Wesselcouch sent you. And make sure to subscribe, he makes great videos. Anyway, to use this equation, we need to first measure our terminal velocity. To do this, I freefalled from 10,000, 20,000, and 30,000 blocks and measured times of 325, 644, and 963 warped fungus, respectively. Since these points are collinear, our velocity is constant. The slope of the line containing these three points is our terminal velocity. So our terminal velocity V is 10,000 over 319 blocks per warped fungus. This means the distance equation in Minecraft 
is the following. Subbing in distance and time from one of our points, we have this equation that G satisfies. With computer assistance, we have G is approximately 5.225 blocks per warped fungus squared. Let's test this model before converting to meters per second squared. Like any good scientist, we'll test our model by free-falling 69,000 blocks. The model predicts it will take us 2,207.1 warped fungus to land. Let's round that to 2,207. All right, let's do this. You could see the actual number of warp fungus it took for us to land was 2,206. That's pretty good. I think it's fair to say our model is right. So let's convert our approximation for G into meters per second squared. We showed that G is approximately 5.225 blocks per warped fungus squared. And it's well known, at least in the Minecraft community, that one block is equal to one meter, and one warped fungus is equal to two-fifths of a second. So G is approximately equal to 32.656 meters per second squared. We just confirmed that Minecraft Earth is much heavier than our Earth. How about that? Well, there you have it. The acceleration due to gravity in Minecraft is 32.656 meters per second squared. Make sure to check out my friend Dennis's channel, The Physics Maths Wizard, so you can see him explain why that distance formula is the correct formula. And let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for a future Math in Minecraft episode. I always love hearing from you. Smash the like button before you get out of here. All right, bye-bye.